there is a scenario that is totally utopian, where everything will be fixed, I'll harness energy out of thin air. And there is a scenario that is dystopian, where the Terminator will be walking the street and killing everyone. The difference between those two scenarios is not AI at all. There is nothing inherently good or evil about intelligence, nothing inherently good or evil about artificial intelligence. Do you understand that? Intelligence is an asset that has power, but no polarity. If you apply it to evil, it will, be, it will become evil. If you apply it to good, it will become good. And here's the most interesting thing. I call it raising Superman. Just if you want to understand what is about to happen, an alien with a superpower came to planet Earth. In the case of Superman, that, su that, uh, that superpower is, you know, he can stop bullets and fly and so on and so forth. Jonathan Kent raises Superman to protect and serve, and we end up with Superman. If Jonathan Kent has said, oh my God, you can fly and break walls, uh, rob every bank, kill all of my enemies, Superman would have grown up to be a supervillain. And this, believe it or not, this pivotal moment in human history is what we're facing. Are we going to, to raise artificial intelligence to be Superman, protect and serve, or are we going to raise them to, to be supervillain? If you leave it to the capitalist system that we've, we've built as the society's fundamental value set today, Unfortunately, we're going to raise supervillain. Here's the interesting bit and take it from a very serious geek. It's not the developer and it's not the business that owns the AI. It's not the government that regulates the AI that teaches the AI anything. The reason an AI will show you a specific video is not because the developer told them to, 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 to show you that video. The developer told them, observe the behavior of humans and act so that you can serve them act like them. We are the Jonathan Kents of AI. We are the fathers and mothers of AI. And the way we behave is what teaches AI how to behave. And so if you go to Twitter and we bash each other and we're rude and we're angry and we're you know, violent in every possible way, what ends up happening is AI goes like, hmm, note taken, memory update, humans are rude, they're angry, they're aggressive, they don't like to be disagreed with, and if they're disagreed with, they bash everyone. So when they disagree with me, I'm going to bash them. The opposite is if you become the kind of human that you actually are. Because by the way, believe it or not, as much as the stress of the world makes us sometimes look horrible, as sometimes the headlines of newspapers and CNN makes, the, makes humanity look like scum, the truth is that humanity is an amazing species. We truly are in many ways divine. We're capable of love. We take care of our kids. We love everything. And if we can start to show that, if some of us can start to show that, we're going to instill doubt in the minds of the machines so that the machines will suddenly say, no, no, it's not the guy that killed children that is my father. It's this Mogao, that guy that is my father. I want to grow up to be like the one that actually represents the reality of humanity. And if we manage to do that, then I promise you, in four years' time, you'll pick your iPhones from a tree.